TGIF, it's a Friday. Welcome to Friday, August 2nd, 2024. Your day with the podcast is calling for some thunderstorms today. We have a subtle, slowly evolving change in the weather pattern. Hot and dry will be shifting slowly to still very warm, but better chances of getting wet. As you can see in the photo there from Patrice that we have shower and thunderstorm activity that formed yesterday in southern Colorado. And some of that is going to expand northward along and east of the Front Range out into the eastern plains today. We're going to be looking at a slight uptick in thunderstorms, especially Sunday. We're going to see this increase in thunderstorms today, more western slope thunderstorm activity tomorrow, then increasing thunderstorm coverage start Sunday into next week. And it looks like for all of next week and into next weekend, Daily thunderstorm activity will be much more common. They should be able to produce rain. Are we guaranteeing rain for everybody? No, but there's gonna be a five to seven day period where your chances at least of getting rained on will return and it's also going to be a little bit cooler. The Aurora Borealis has really come out here over the last couple of nights and we've got opportunities, as I'll show you here in a moment, for the Aurora to show itself this weekend. Great shot from Dave here in Pinedale of the Aurora activity. I know there's been some other folks who have captured the Aurora here over the last couple of nights. So if you get an opportunity this weekend, the Aurora may show itself. Geomagnetic storms are being predicted. And here recently, the K index has hit five. And when we start getting into that level, you start to get to the lower latitude Auroras. And so it may show itself this weekend. Be ready. Now, before we get to the forecast part of this, I want to do something that we'll do more of in coming podcasts, which is highlight other weather podcasts that may be of interest to some of you. We get emails all the time from folks in other parts of the country that are wanting a locally specific weather podcast like what we do here with the day weather podcast for the Rockies and the High Plains and parts of the interior west. But if you're in the Pacific Northwest, California, highly recommend this podcast. And we'll highlight other ones. And we are getting requests. If you know of one uh, across different parts of the country, a regional podcast, not a national one, let me know and send me an email. Another podcast that I really like that's locally based is Dean Peterson's That Doesn't Happen Every Day. I really started to follow this podcast when this one came up about the the Air United Airlines crash in 1955 into the snowy range. I had particular interest because I was wondering if the weather had an impact on that crash. This is a great podcast. It's fun, short podcasts, a lot of really interesting Wyoming stories. So check out Dean's podcast. If you do have a podcast suggestion, send me an email at podcast at dayweather.com. We're getting requests for Canada, the Midwest, the Great Lakes, the southeastern parts of the United States. Let me know. Taking a look at the satellite imagery this morning, the subtropical moisture is really starting to get a little bit more northward and westward. At first, it's gonna go this way, then start to turn around. You can see all the dry air in the orange. This is a thunderstorm complex that formed in Southern Colorado late yesterday and last night, and is headed towards the Southern areas of the US. But we see this subtropical moisture out of Mexico coming up. So it's gonna take a while to get here, why? Well, the winds aloft under this high pressure ridge are very, very weak, but the clockwise rotation around the high is eventually bringing that in. We also have a little wave right here that's gonna rotate around that will be arriving on Sunday. So this high pressure ridge is reaching its peak strength today. Look what happens by Sunday. It's still there, but it's weaker. The top of the ridge gets cut off up here on top. This will allow a slight cooling and it's gonna allow more time for the subtropical moisture to come on in. And here we can see the precipitable water for today across the U.S. Notice we have an island of very dry air still right here. So there really won't be much going on. But around the edges of this dry pocket, we will see some thunderstorms around up here. But also notice the white and green that's now showing up. Now remember that white is adequate moisture for thunderstorms. The green means there's just a bit more moisture available. So this area right here is gonna have some thunderstorm activity from the heat of the day. And there it is. The prediction is showing showers and thunderstorms along this axis right here. 
It may not be a very good situation to get a lot of rain out of these showers and thunderstorms, but I think you'll be surprised. There'll be more thunderstorm activity in this area today than maybe what you'd expect, especially after what we've seen this week with the heat and the dryness. There is a risk of marginal severe weather risk in eastern Colorado today, southern areas of the Panhandle, mainly due to very high wind gusts. This is an environment where very strong wind gusts will be a concern. On Saturday, the thunderstorms are more east, and then notice in the Four Corners area, back into the Wasatch, there's an area of thunderstorms here. This is that moisture axis surging a bit more north. Dry air in this area right here means not many thunderstorms, just a few. Then, as we get further out, this is your general thunderstorm forecast for Saturday. Sunday, the moisture gets a lot deeper. So on Sunday, the thunderstorm coverage will be more widespread, and there you can see right along both sides of the divide, thunderstorms get really widespread up here in Montana and maybe northern Wyoming, then the front range and mountain areas in western slope of Colorado, Four Corners area, your thunderstorm activity gets going. And then that moisture is going to be able to basically be pumped in all week. This is by Thursday. The high is still down into Arizona, but look at this low here. We're going to watch this. This low settling out of southwest Canada is going to feed cooler air into the nation's midsection by mid to late next week. And look at temperatures by Thursday across Canada, Montana, parts of Wyoming and the Dakotas. And actually, there's some cool air coming down and along and east of the divide by late next week and towards next weekend. So that's going to be able to cool off some of you as we get into next week. Have yourself a great Friday and a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday.